when the season kicked off and the Rams had their unveiling, you know, the banner unveiling, Super Bowl banner unveiling, um, an executive texted me. We were both watching at the same time. And he said, why is Odell Beckham Jr. walking like that? Mm. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he backed it up on his DVR and he took a little clip of it. He sent it to me. And it looked like Odell Beckham Jr. was stiff-legging it. He was walking with kind of a really stiff limp if you paid close attention. I thought, eh, it's nothing. You know, he's on track to return in November. That's what everybody's telling us. Then it gets reported that he's cleared. I don't know who the hell cleared him because no teams apparently cleared him. Everybody was excited. Everybody's recruiting. And now Jerry Jones comes out and says, ah, maybe not. I guess might not be a 2022 situation. Joy, what the hell is going on here? Like, what what happened here? Did everybody just get way out in front and the ruse is kind of up right now in terms of his health? Yeah, no. Well, first of all, Sirab, as always, you're super plugged in and that executive seemed to be on to something. But I'm at the Cowboys facility right now and Micah Parsons was talking to us today and he had been at the Mavericks game courtside with Odell Beckham on Monday night as part of the Cowboys two day recruitment situation. And a reporter asked Micah, did Odell indicate to you when he'll be ready to play? And Micah said, yes, he said five weeks, which is the postseason. And that was something that we had kind of heard reported via sources. But now we've got Micah, who um, is refreshingly honest with us, telling us this on the record. And I thought that was super interesting because now you have the question of, okay, he can't help the Cowboys get a a leg on the Eagles to get a better playoff seating. He might not necessarily be practicing much in those five weeks. He wasn't willing to work out, it seems, from all all cases for these three teams, the Bills, the Giants, and now the Cowboys. Well, how comfortable are you really signing a guy and expecting him to do something? And how much money are you going to give a guy who thinks he's worth what he might have been worth a couple years ago or at least close when you can't rely on his health? And I wrote this in my story today, but the Cowboys have really changed their tone here. You have the same Jerry Jones talking on Sunday and Tuesday. And on Sunday, he's like, Dak can make music with him. And uh, he's the real deal. He's what we need. This year is important. I want to make it work. And then 36 hours later, not even, Jerry says, well, it's got to be right for both of us. Like marriage, you want to make sure it's right beforehand rather than get together and then realize it's not right. I would be surprised if something still happens. It just doesn't seem to make sense for Odell to sign with the team this year when he can be healthier and teams can have a better understanding and he can probably up his value if he can show them that he can cut um, by by the spring. I think it's interesting that, you know, this idea when he it was reported he's not going to work out for any teams. And I'm like, that's a significant red flag. Why would you sign? Given the injury history, this just feels like a leverage situation where you had an individual who's, you know, thinks, hey, I can what I was down the stretch for the Rams last year. I can be that for another team this year, but you have to give me the money up front. And it's not just 2022 money. It's 2023, 2024. I mean, tell me, Charles, like what makes sense about this situation, especially when he just won't work out? He won't show this is what my health because his health. And that workout, that's got to tell you what his contributions could potentially be, right? I think we've kind of gotten to a point where we forget, like, how serious an injury and ACL tear can be, (laughs) especially (laughs) at this point uh, in his career. And the first thing that I thought of was, all right, well, he he tore it in, like, the Super Bowl. Super Bowl, (laughs) yeah. The the very last game that an NFL player can possibly play. And then I thought about Lions wide receiver Jameson Williams, who tore his ACL about a month before in the national championship game against Georgia, he just played his first game this past weekend. So, you know, I I imagine a guy like Odell, who has some more tread on his tires, who tore his ACL a month after Jameson Williamson did. It's really not surprising to me that he's not healthy or wouldn't be ready to play at this point. That my question is like, then then why are you doing all this? Like if you if if you can't if if you can't play, like I don't really understand why he's doing this. Besides, honestly, just to, to have fun, visit his homies, go right. to a couple yeah. of basketball games. Like, I mean, I, I can respect that as someone who's interested in seeing my friends and getting free dinners and stuff like that. But I, I, I think it's becoming more clear that he's not going to play football this year. 